In this video, I just want to briefly describe the procedure for performing circumferential measurements to measure edema. Circumferential measurements are typically done with just a measuring tape. Uh, typically, they're recorded in centimeters and millimeters as opposed to inches. Uh, and there are a variety of tools available to do this. I'm going to show you a couple different ones here. Um, let's start with what is uh, basically a, a specialized centimeter ruler for uh, circumferential measurements of a finger. And so typically what I would do with this is, um, let's say I want to measure uh, his, uh, the edema around his proximal phalanx. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it around here. And it has this little hole that the uh, measuring tape goes through. And you just kind of snug it up there until you get it about as, as snug as it wants to go and then read the measurement. Uh, one thing you have to be aware of is it doesn't show you the centimeter number that you are actually measuring. It shows you the next one up because the one that you're measuring is underneath this little tab. Uh, but in this case, this would be about uh, 6.3 centimeters uh, in circumference at the proximal phalanx. When you report that, then you are going to uh, report uh, the measurement and also exactly where it was measured. Is it the proximal phalanx? Is it the PIP joint? Uh, where did you measure it and so that you can replicate it the next time? For larger uh, body parts, you can use a flexible tape measure. Uh, and there's a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, some of these flexible tape measures actually have a, a little um, device at the end that will hold the tape measure, much like this held the, uh, the tape measure for the finger. So I can put that around, and then you just kind of slide the tape measure into that part, and then kind of pull it back, or pull it snug. And in this case, just proximal to his ulnar head, he's got about 16.8 centimeters of circumference. Okay? Uh, another way to do that, um, this is kind of a specialized tape measure. I, I don't see a lot of these like that. Uh, more standard, the flexible tape measure doesn't have that device at the end. And so um, in that case, what you're going to do is simply line the zero line on the tape measure up with the other end and uh, use that zero line as your reference for that's when your, your, uh, where your measurement occurs. So again, measuring basically the same place. Um, I'm actually coming up with a slightly different measurement here, about 16.9 uh, centimeters, uh, circumference there. Uh, circumference is a very quick measurement. It's easy to take. Um, when you are doing circumference, especially like somewhere up in the forearm, you want to make sure that you are measuring the same place every time. So I was just doing it kind of around the wrist here just to kind of show you, but if you're doing this in the clinic, you're actually going to measure exactly where you're going to take it. So for example, um, I might use his distal wrist crease is, is fairly prominent. He, his proximal wrist crease is, is um, very subtle, so I'd probably use his distal wrist crease and then say, I'm going to measure, okay, let's say 10 centimeters proximal to his distal wrist crease. I would actually use a pen then to mark that, and then I would measure around there. So it's a, it's a fairly quick, fairly easy way to um, get a measurement of edema. It does have its downfalls though. Um, especially with someone that's uh, edematous um, or for uh, someone that has a lot of adipose tissue. Um, there's a lot of variation you can get in this uh, measurement just simply by how hard you pull the tape. All right, and so uh, you could um, just kind of wrap it around them or in this case just wrapping it around them, you know, snug but not tight. I come up with 23.7 centimeters at the kind of um, middle of his forearm. If I pull it snug, I can get that all the way down to say 22 and a half centimeters. If I really pull it snug, I can get it down to about 21 and a half centimeters. So depending on how hot, tight you pull the tape, that greatly affects the measurement. 
there is a, a tape measure um, called a Gulick anthropometer uh, that has a device on the end uh, with a little spring and um, you pull on that spring loader device until it, it shows a line uh, that's contained in there and that way you get s the same amount of tension every time you measure so that will uh, bring some reliability to these uh, circumferential measurements uh, but even then it's, um, it's not the best or, or most reliable measurement for edema. However, it is fairly really quick uh, and easy to do. This is that Gulick measuring tape that has the device at the end of the tape that's spring-loaded and as you pull, uh, put tension on the tape, you can see the uh, hook that's holding the tape comes out of the cylinder and at some point, right about here, there's a little mark on that. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but there's a little mark on there. And so, with this one, if you're just trying to measure, uh, you know, your circumference, you can, again, you're going to line up the zero on the tape with whatever mark it lines up with. But by pulling on this device, and just pulling it out until you can just see that mark, that will provide a constant tension. Um, so that will improve the reliability somewhat of your circumferential measurements. The one thing I don't like about this is it does put actually quite a bit of tension as you can see on the tape. So if you have somebody with a, a soft or mobile edema, um, you're actually going to change the edema as you hold it here. It'll flow out from under your tape with that amount of tension. Um, so it's not a perfect solution, but it is one solution uh, that's out there and I thought I'd make you aware of it.